here are the platonic solids represented with balloons. And so a platonic solid is a shape that has uh, its faces as regular polygons. And so three of them here use triangles for their polygons. One has a, a square and the other one has a pentagon. And so in some sense, the simplest one here is the one that is made of um, triangles. And so here it's got four triangles that are meeting. Now, um, because of the, the way the balloons are, I have to actually put some interior into this one. And so I'm really focused on the exterior bigger bubbles. And so you can see there's four triangles here, one there, one there, and then the other side has one on top and one on the bottom. And so four triangles here, the cube, which is probably the easiest to recognize, has a square, a square, a square, and so three squares meet at one point, and then you have the other side, which is three more squares, and so six in total. And so once again, yes, yeah, the big bubbles I'm interested in, not the little mini ones in the middle. And then this one is nice because it is a, um, you can see the triangles, and so these bubbles are making triangles, and four of them uh, meet at one point, and so you got four on top and four on the bottom, and so that's an octahedron. Um, and so, yeah, this one's the easiest to make. And so, no interior bubbles there. And then, perhaps, um, so that was eight faces, six faces, and four faces, and this one has 12 faces, and they are in the shape of pentagons. And so here, the pentagons have five outer bubbles, and so, there's a few little extra things I had to do to make it work because, once again, it's a little bit tricky. And so some of the edges have sort of these double bubbles. But you can sort of see um, how these pentagons fit together. So three pentagons fit together. And so in, in total, you have uh, 12 pentagons on the, the outside here. And so it's quite, uh, it's a little bit more involved than the other ones. But you can see there's a lot of air in the middle as well. Whereas when we get to this last one here, um, this is an icosahedron, and so there's triangles here. And so, and there's five triangles that meet at one point here. And so it looks like a little uh, asterisk or star. And so, but if you count, there's gonna be 20 triangles meeting here. Another way to think about it is the edges, these bubbles, there are 30 bubbles here, so it's quite involved to think about these things, but it's kind of nice to be able to have one that you can just sort of uh, examine. And so, all right, so these are the, um, in total here, the, all of the platonic solids. It turns out there isn't, um, there aren't any more, and so that's it. So in some sense, if you want to study um, 3D shapes, uh, you can stop here if you're looking for things that have only uh, one kind of face and that they are very symmetrical. So these are platonic solids. Okay, that's all for now.